Audio Jungle. Yes, so <clears throat> like uh, last class we had seen that uh, uh, it is the recap, okay? So just a recall. We had seen that case one, case one, what was the case? That is the maximum rate of climb. Okay, but this maximum rate of climb we had seen for jet engine. Yes or no? And what was that? That condition, if you remember, if you recall that, so <clears throat> it was check, it was KCL square. This is the derived part we already have seen last session. We had seen this derivation. Cyw, yes or yes or no? Cyw Cl minus Cc not is equal to zero. This was the derived thing we had seen. This was the case one. Now we are going to talk case two. Okay, this is done already. Now what is the case two? Case two we are uh, going to see the same thing. maximum rate of climb but now we are going to talk piston engine okay now we are going to talk maximum rate of climb for the piston engine all right good now we had seen what is the rate of climb <clears throat> what is the rate of climb check rate of climb if you draw the velocity triangle see this was the Climb angle theta, this was the V infinity. So, this is the vertical component VB, vertical velocity, and this vertical velocity called VC. Climb speed, okay. And this is the horizontal speed, which is in horizontal direction. Yes or no? Simple. Now, <coughs> so if you check VV, which is, which is nothing but VC, that is called rate of climb or climbing speed. What will be the VC climbing speed? It is nothing but V infinity sine theta. Okay. We had seen, if you check last class also, we had seen the force balancing. Suppose this is the aircraft here, okay. So weight will be acting downward, and this is the theta, which is nothing but climb angle. So this was L, that is the lift. If aircraft is what? speed is V infinity now nah? and uh, if you check this angle will be theta sorry uh, this angle was theta so now this will be what W cos theta and it will be w sin theta yes or no and it is moving in forward direction so propelling force is nothing but thrust and opposition force just opposite will be drag 
if you resolve this so what you will get l is equal to w cos theta another equation you will get d plus w sin theta is equal to first what is the sin theta it is p minus dw p minus d by w yes or no you place this value of theta here uh, sin theta so <coughs> What is the VC? VC is nothing but V infinity sin theta V infinity and what is the sin theta check? It is T minus D by W. Okay. <coughs> what is VC? It is V infinity into T minus V infinity into D divided by W. This is the thrust available basically. So thrust available into velocity is nothing but power available. Ta velocity into drag is nothing but power required divided by W. So if I say VC mat, what is the mean of it? Power available, which is the constant value. This is the power required. This should be minimum. Yes or no? Divide by W. If you are saying this value is what maximum, so this value should be minimum. Agree with this? So what is the node point? Node point what you got? You got for piston engine. For piston engine aircraft. maximum rate of climb maximum rate of climb can be achieved at minimum power required condition yes or no Yes, that is the conclusion you got. Okay, this is the conclusion you got. Huh? So for piston engine, always remember piston engine VC called maximum rate of climb. That also you can write ROC. ROC means rate of climb that you can achieve at PA. PR min by W. What is the PR min? Minimum power required condition. Now I will write all the steps. What is the minimum power required condition? We have minimum power required condition. So, what is the CLM uh, better? We'll write first condition. What is the minimum power required condition? Can you tell me? It is nothing but CD naught is equal to <coughs> ACL square. ACL square by 3, no? 1 by 3 ACL square. This is the or 1 by 3 CDA. This was the condition. What was the second condition? CLMP 3 CD not by K. What is the third one? CDMP. What is that? Uh, CD naught plus KCL square. So, what is the CD naught? What is the KCL square? It's a 4 CD naught. 
yes or no so these are the useful condition for minimum power required that you know very well not new thing it's very like in previous i think uh, four or five lectures if you go back then you may get so it is very basic actually now no? that time i i told like this is very special condition and it will be useful throughout the performance yes or no i mean it will be used for the climbing it will be used for the gliding it will be used if it is required in turning also all right so everywhere it, these are the conditions will be used okay like minimum drag minimum power so there should not be any confusion because now we are going to solve problems so i just want to recall again minimum required power no tr min so for this what was the parameters if it is required then how to calculate number 1 i must say td not is equal to 1 by 3 gcl square number 2 plmp this td not by k then we have cdmp it is nothing but or cd not then vmp it was 2w divided by rho s clmp yes or no these are the parameters if it is required emp also no yeah? what is the emp aerodynamic efficiency at minimum power is nothing but l by t why i am recalling this because we are going to solve problem na so this is the condition for <coughs> sorry this is the condition for minimum power required okay now <coughs> check so <coughs> we'll solve problem all right now we have Okay. What is the problem? Check. It is an aircraft. An aircraft weighing means weight one sixty kilo newton. One sixty kilo newton has. has a wing area as a wing area of 42 meter square the thrust power it is said thrust power available thrust power available from the engine is 2.25 megawatt no 2.25 megawatt no because it is a power it's a power so they have given unit megawatt okay megawatt <coughs> calculate calculate the maximum rate of 
climb at sea level at sea level okay the drag polar the drag polar equation is right it is equal to 0 point 0 0.014 plus 0 0.0 5 cl square this is the problem okay take wait, what are the given data what they have given first they have said aircraft weight is given how much 160 kilo newton okay area of the wing they have given 42 meter square power available they have said it is nothing but 2.25 megawatt means 2.25 into 10 power 6 watt na? <coughs> now what they have given cd which is nothing but 0 0.014 plus 0 0.05 cl square what they are asking they are asking find find vc max or it is also called roc means rate of climb max that we need to calculate yes or no that we need to calculate done now <clears throat> what is the road map for this you know that uh, vc max formula vc max or roc max what is the formula for this you know power available minus power required should be minimum divided by weight huh? should be minimum divided by weight okay so if you want to check road map how to approach the problem approach what is the approach approach check p a p a given w which is weight given in the problem <coughs> What we have to calculate? PR. No? PR we need to calculate. How to calculate PR? PR you can get formula is drag into velocity. Yes or no? And this PR is what minimum? power hence we need to calculate drag at minimum power and velocity at minimum power agree agree or not how to calculate uh, this drag minimum power very simple what is the formula dmp what is the formula dmp is nothing but w this manipulation i told you many times i have used so i am believing that now you are aware with this cd by clmp into w what is the VMP? What is the VMP? Very clear, it is nothing but 2W divided by rho S CLMP. Yes or no? So, this is the, yeah, this is the road map. In this way, you have to go and calculate the simple PR first. So, you will start from the, you will start from the CDMP and CLMP. Once you know CDMP, CLMP, you go for DMP. Once you know CLMP, you can calculate VMP. If you know VMP and DMP, then you can calculate PRMP. RMP means minimum power, minimum power, no? minimum power. And once you got PR minimum, then you keep here in the formula. You will get this is the formula. You will get VC max. So that should be your approach. So for that, now because almost uh, numerical from the starting if you check uh, many numerical we have solved so we are solving numerical it uh, it doesn't mean we have solved so we 
like uh, uh, we got you know because what we have solved that is not a, a perfect way like we are solving a numerical in 20 30 minutes that is not a good way so what we are uh, what i'm trying to do like because it was the starting session so uh, we we took time like 20 uh, 10 minutes no because it was the just like learning period uh, because it was a starting session but now what you have to practice you have to you have to solve half of the problem in your mind only like once you see the problem once you read the problem immediately uh, blueprints should be ready in your mind like okay this is the way to solve and and this is the way i have to follow the path like suppose this question you got then immediately you have to write formula and you, in formula you have to check okay what available uh, values they have given available power and weight now what is the unknown pr how to get pr it is drag into velocity how to get drag dash w c d by c l that is the like you know half of the problem you have solved in your in your mind so just write formula and then calculate data that is the way so that's the reason i told what we had seen last few sessions for the problem that is not correct way i mean because we had taken for one numerical we had taken 30 minutes 40 minutes 20 minutes so that is not a like you are going to write an exam which is uh, like you know time boundation is what very important now one problem two three minutes more than enough so now as well as time is what going on you should be uh, well practiced uh, to to calculate first first thing second thing uh, your approach should be ready and half of the problem should be solving your mind that is my point what i wanted to tell you okay hope you understood now yes so now what you will do <coughs> check you are going to now <coughs> check so what you are going to do you are going to calculate uh, cd and cl huh? So for minimum power, what is the uh, CL? First formula I will write here. Check. So what is the CL? CL should be now CL MP. Uh, CL for minimum power. What is the formula? It is three CD naught by. A. This is the formula. Yes or no? What is the CD naught? Check. You just compare this drag polar. This drag polar. If you check here, in the drag polar, if you check, this is nothing but CD naught. And this is nothing but a. So what is the CD naught they have given? 0 0.1, 0 0.014 divided by k. And what is the k they have given to us? 0 0.05. If you solve it, where is my calculator? <coughs> Yes, it is 3 into 0 0.014 divided by 0 0.05. If you take root, you may get 0 0.916. So you solve it as, as you have to improve your speed. Okay. Now, what is the CD? CD is nothing but CD MP minimum power. This is nothing but 4 CD naught. So CD naught is nothing but if you check 4 into 0 0.014, it is 0 0.056, 0 0.056. Okay. Now what is the DMP? It is W into check the formula CD by CL. Huh? CD by CL minimum power, or you can write W into CD MP by so <coughs> CDMP you have what is the weight 160 kilonewtons to 10 power 3 divided by CLMP 0.9165. So <coughs> what is the DMP? It is nothing but 9776.3 newton. Okay, this is the DMP. Now what is the VMP check? VMP is nothing but 2 W divided by rho S 
CLMP, just make it in this way. So you solve it. It is nothing but 2 into 160 and for 3 divided by rho sea level density 1.2 area 42 meter square divided by CLMP 0.9165 right take root of it yeah 82 point 82.54 meter per second what is the minimum power PR mean it is nothing but DMP into VMP yes or no so <clears throat> if you calculate this now how much you may get dmp into vmp it is nothing but uh, 977 976.3 so pr we am getting here 10 to power uh, 6 no? it is nothing but we we'll just keep this value okay so what value i am getting it is nothing but it not approximate is uh, yeah it's nearby it not seven no it not seven okay kilowatt this is what I'm getting now you calculate what is the VC max or It is nothing but power available divided by. If you do that, what is the power available check in the problem? It was given 2.25 megawatt. Okay. 2.25 megawatt and 46. Even required power also you can write in megawatt. So at not 7 it was there. No? At not 7, so you can write. Kilowatt to 10 for 6 divide by what was the weight x 160 kilo newton no? so 160 kilo newton okay if you calculate this of on this Check how much you are getting. So two four two five minus given ten to power six divided by one sixty and four is nine point zero nine point zero one eight. The maximum rate of flying. Okay, this is the maximum rate of flying. Great, hope you understood this. This is the maximum rate of flying. So <coughs> This part is now over. Many numerical I have will solve later. And you homework also. Now <clears throat> this was very important uh, like topic climbing. Okay, so we have seen both. I mean maximum rate of climb and maximum climbing angle. And that that too we have seen for uh, you know uh, both jet engine as well as uh, piston engine or propeller engine that we had changed. Okay. Now <laughs> we have another topic for this particular topic, which is nothing but uh, called suppose one altitude it is given. Okay, 
that aircraft maybe it is on ground or it is given at one altitude and from one particular altitude to another altitude it will take time to reach okay it will take time to reach so sometimes not uh, it is asked already in your exam okay uh, like time to reach that particular altitude so how to calculate that it is asked in gate okay so now we will have a new heading <coughs> suppose uh, that aircraft we have i will show the diagram so it will be known to you this is the orientation of the aircraft This is the different orientation or position of the aircraft. It will go like this or not. So my point is suppose this is the horizontal, okay. This is the horizontal. This is the horizontal, and for this horizontal, we have a different different orientation of the aircraft. Okay. Now, question is time to height. I mean, here suppose the aircraft from one particular altitude, uh, from the uh, you can say sea level, that altitude is what uh, H1. This aircraft, this altitude is nothing but from this sea level it is H1. Okay. Then again, this height it is reached during the takeoff only or the, uh, during the climb, sorry, during the climbing only. So this uh, altitude is nothing but H2. Okay. So uh, from H1 altitude to H2 altitude during the climbing, it will take some time. Okay. Like maybe it will take 10, 10 second, 15 second, anything. So you just try to understand the point, okay, first. Like question will be like from one altitude to another altitude during the climbing, what time that aircraft has taken, okay. Suppose from sea level, this is the sea level or you can say this is the ground, this is the ground, no? this is the ground. So from ground to H1 altitude, suppose time has been taken T1. What time it has taken? It has taken T1 time. T1 in T1 second, it is reached to H1 altitude. Then definitely it will take time. We we'll just say this is O, this is A better. So to reach at point B, suppose it has taken time T2. So they will give the data, don't worry, they will give data like H1 or H2, something they will give to you and they may ask, they may ask H2 or they may ask T2, anything they can ask. So heading is what time to, time to reach the height, okay. Time to reach the height or <coughs> question will be asked what uh, what time it has taken to climb from one altitude to another altitude that question may be like this okay time required so <coughs> now how to get this how to get this it's very simple simple mathematics we have to use <coughs> now you can say to reach from one position to another position time has taken T1, T2, I told you point A and point B, T1, T2, it is given. So, your climbing triangle, I already explained. In the climbing triangle, this is the climbing triangle. This is theta. This altitude, uh, this vertical velocity is nothing but Vc. Okay. This is nothing but Vc. And this is nothing but horizontal speed. And this is nothing but aircraft speed which is nothing but wind. So this is the velocity triangle. What is this called? 
This is the velocity parameter. Okay. And at the same time, we can draw the triangle in terms of you know horizontal distance, which is called range, and in terms of the vertical distance, which is nothing but altitude. Yes or no? So we can draw another triangle also. This is what theta and we can say this is nothing but h okay uh, or you can say this is what dh which is nothing but h2 minus h1 all right you can say suppose from the ground this is nothing but h1 okay this point is what h1 and this point is what h2 so what will be the dh it is h2 minus h1 and this is nothing but range because it is horizontal distance covered and whatever the horizontal distance covered it is nothing but range all right now so you you relate that two triangle i am interested in vertical distance okay because h1 h2 means what it is altitude means vertical distance i am not interested in horizontal distance but it sometimes if it is asked you can answer for that also that time you use the triangle you don't forget this is very important triangle okay this is figure one and this is the okay one and two now uh, if you want to calculate vertical altitude so you should have a vertical velocity got my point or not and obviously time will also be will be in terms of the vertical direction because it is gaining the altitude so it is gaining altitude means vertical uh, values should be there vertical velocity should be there vert vertical altitude should be there obviously and whatever time it has taken to reach from h1 to ht it is also because time is what it is scalar quantity it is not vector so that doesn't matter for the uh, you know it is horizontal or vertical you can use anywhere now fine but velocity is what a vector quantity for that reason i am saying vertical velocity what because it is uh, a uh, vector quantity so i have to tell you the direction so direction is what vertical okay now you will understand it's very easy so use figure 1 and figure 2 to just check if i am interesting in vertical altitude so what component i will take i will take component vc and what is the vc it is nothing but rate of climb rate of climb yes or no so question will be like to reach from one point to another point what time has been taken by the aircraft huh? so you check it so i can do the statement or you can write the line it is nothing but <coughs> time required okay write it time required time required by an aircraft by an aircraft to climb to climb to climb from from h1 altitude Altitude to H two altitude. Okay. How to write this? So check that vertical because you are talking about the vertical velocity. So vertical height will be nothing but dh. Yes or no? So simply you can write what is the time time taken. Time taken. I will just say time taken has been dt. You know? Time is nothing but I am saying it is dt. Dt time has been taken by the aircraft to climb from h1 to h2 altitude. It is dt. So, what is the dt? It is distance by velocity. This is the formula of time, yes or no? Or what is the velocity? Distance by time. So what is the time distance by velocity what is the distance it is 
from h1 to h2 check it is h1 to h2 is nothing but this distance it is what h2 minus h1 i can say it is nothing but dh here it is shown now check the diagram so <coughs> this is nothing but distance is nothing but dh okay and what is the velocity in vertical direction velocity is nothing but we see your problem is solved now we see done huh? it is done now then so that's the reason i told you this is very important this is asked in gate two two three times asked okay so please mention somewhere this is the gate problem this is already asked in gate a previous year problem so now problem is solved so you just integrate this dt from t1 to t2 check t1 to t2 here it is explained where is the t1 and where is the t2 this diagram if you draw you may understand t1 to t2 now integrate it so you will get dh by vc obviously vc is nothing but rate of climb from h1 to h2 yes or no from h1 to h2 this is very special formula dh divided by vc is nothing but rate of climb t1 to t2 sorry h1 to h2 Done. This is done now. So, what time they will ask to you? You can answer for it. Okay. Then solve the problem based on it. All right. <clears throat> so, T1, they, they are saying like, okay, uh, T1 is this. So, calculate T2. So, altitude they will tell you like that aircraft is what flying at uh, 2 kilometer altitude from the sea level and Climbing rate of climbing is suppose 10 meter per second to reach uh, 10 kilometer altitude from the sea level. What time has been taken by the aircraft? The question will be like this. It is very simple only. For that reason, I have given this formula. So you will able to calculate. Okay? You will able to calculate. It's not a big problem. So here you can write t2 minus t1 is equal to it is h1 h2 th by r okay so you just keep in the box okay i'll just show they will give to you you just solve it they will give that data don't worry okay what is r oc it is nothing but H2 minus H1 divided by T1. That you can uh, check the ROC, which is nothing but rate of climb. Okay. So you may get in this way also. DH you can uh, integrate and uh, that value, whatever it is required, you can calculate. All right. So this is the one part.